So I'm here in my 2001 Toyota RAV4, which I've had for quite a while now and put a lot of miles on it. And I'm going to attempt to uh, convert the interior into a kind of mini camper, mini RV. Uh, I've been on a lot of road trips with it before and wound up sleeping in the back. Uh, there's not quite enough room to really stretch out the way it's configured, um, even when I take the back seats out. So what I'm going to try and do is, in addition to taking the back seats out, I'm going to take the front passenger seat out and install a raised platform about this high. That will allow me to, one, um, sleep completely stretched out, and two, when I go to Maine this summer to show my work at the High Pointers Convention, um, there'll be a space underneath the platform that I can transport my prints safely and securely uh, since the box that they, I carry them in is quite long, probably almost seven feet long. I'm going to need the space to put it and actually sleep inside at the same time so I'm not sleeping on top of it or something. So I'll have a, a sleeping platform and then a storage space underneath. And so I got to start by gutting it and we'll hopefully it'll turn out okay and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking out the back seats, which are designed to come out easily for added storage space. The front seat up a little. So that's the easy part, taking the back seats out. All right, so once the, the uh, four bolts are taken out on either end of the tracks, all you do is tilt the seat back a little bit. And on my particular model, there is a just one uh, bundle of wires that needs to be unplugged. So I got some snips here and I'm going to Plug that connection right there. <laughs> Alright, so now the seat is disconnected. I can take it out. That's a big first part of it finished, so got all the seats out. So now I'll 
I'll start uh, making measurements and putting framework in and stuff like that. Okay, so I did some measurements and I established the height of my platform to be about 13 inches to the, to the bottom of the plywood, uh, which will put the total height at about 13 and 3 quarters off the back end of the floor. Uh, the one thing that's making it a little bit tricky is that, as you can see, the floor is not anywhere close to even. Um, even back here where it's sort of flat, it's a little ripply. Then you get uh, the leg room for the back seats, it dips down, and the framework underneath the front seat. So there's all sorts of ridges and dips. Um, one of the good things is I have some anchor points in the front from where I took the seat out. Uh, there's holes in the holes in the floor that I can use to uh, bolt down to. I got four of them, so I have some good anchor points up there. And I cut the first stud, uh, a 13 inch piece, which will clear, should get me to clear the wheel well. Uh, it's 13 inches off the back floor here. Uh, so for the rest of the studs, I'm going to use a level. Uh, I think this is a four or five foot level. Um, so basically starting from this this 13 inch one, I can use the level and and then measure from the level down to the floor in various spots to get my other uh, support pieces measured out. And then once I get that all done, um, I'm going to make a cardboard template because it's going to be some twists and turns in here for the for the actual plywood platforms. So I will get some uh, get a large piece of cardboard and cut that out and use it as a template. But first, I got to finish cutting some more of these. So I've cut some more two by fours for supports. I kind of loosely connected them with cardboard just. For so they stand upright and I can get a sense of placement before I start really reinforcing them. And so I have a, some sort of surface to put the, the big piece of cardboard that I have to make my temple with. I was able to get a 4 by 8 foot sheet of cardboard that I wanted to use to make a template with just because it's kind of hard to take measurements before I know where everything is going to be sitting exactly. So I figure I can get the cardboard, I can whittle it down to shape it into the interior of the, the vehicle. Um, so I've put, and that's what I've done with this, I've put it on top of the that loose framework of 2x4s and cardboard supports. Uh, so I can get a an idea of how this is going to sit. And over on this side, uh, the cardboard itself is not quite four feet. Uh, the plywood is, so just have to take this out another six inches, and I just have to carve it out a little bit more up front. And but this is basically what it'll look like. Come around to the side. I left a little bit of space so I can actually get to the glove compartment. And that's about where it'll come to. And it'll be just a little bit narrower. So I'll come around to the driver's side. So I just have to carve it out around the center console. And of course the 
the stick shift so I can actually drive it. And that's about the, the placement of it. So the next step will be to finish tweaking this piece of cardboard and then I can use that as a template to cut the piece of plywood. I have my 4x8 foot sheet of plywood, which is going to be the platform in the car. And I have my cardboard template that I made. I just need to mark off where everything sits. So I'm actually going to leave this uh, this piece on for right now because the cardboard was naturally a little narrower than the plywood, but this should fit into the into the vehicle. So it's mostly this front end that I'm going to be carving out for the driver's seat and the glove compartment area. Uh, just going to put some pencil lines. Not so much going to follow the my cuts in the cardboard since they're not quite square. So I'm just going to put some marks and then do an actual get the square out and mark it that way. And I'm not too worried about having it a little bit bigger, like having a little extra if I need it. It's a lot easier to carve it out than it is to fill it back in. So. So I've got the platform basically roughed in. Um, it'll be good enough for my weekend trip that I'm about to do. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's crooked in a few spots, but um, I think it'll work. So this will be my sleeping area right there. And then I have storage space underneath. And I tried it out last night. It's actually pretty sturdy, so it should hold my weight. Uh, I don't think it's going to move around too much. Uh, it's actually staying in place better than I expected it to. So yeah, I think it'll be a, a good experiment this weekend with this. So this is a bit more lived-in look uh, on my platform. That's where I spent the night last night.
Seems to be holding up pretty good. The centerpiece underneath isn't even attached. It's just sitting there taking the weight. Um, but overall, it's very sturdy. No problems with it whatsoever so far. So I'm very happy. I'm currently at the tri-point of uh, Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio.